Hello viewers, you welcome back once again to another interesting maths question. Today's question from this figure here says, find the area of this triangle BDE if this angle here, ACD, is a right angle. So from this now, this triangle ACD is a right angle triangle and also triangle BCD here. But we are asked to find the area of this triangle BDE here. So how can you find the area? The general formula for the area of a triangle is half base times height. But what are the base and the height of a triangle? To know the base and the height of triangle BDE, we must know the length of its sides. And most importantly, the angles of the triangle. So what are the length and the angles of the triangle? That's what we are going to find now. Since this triangle BCD here is a right angle triangle, and we have the length of this side here as 3.5 centimeters, and this here 2 centimeters, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this side here. The Pythagorean theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two other sides. Hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle. So this line BD here is the hypotenuse. So using the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse square equal to 2 square plus 3.5 square. 2 square is 4. 3.5 squared is 12.25. 4 plus 12.25 is 16.25. So hypotenuse square equal to 16.25. To find the exact value of the hypotenuse, we find the square root of both sides. So square root of hypotenuse square is equal to square root of 16.25. Here square cancels square root. And here square root of 16.25 is 4.03, which approximately equal to 4. So we'll find the length of this side here to be 4 centimeters in length. Now to find the other sides, we need the size of the angles of the triangle. So still from this triangle here, since we have the length of all the sides, we can use the so-called word to find the size of this angle here. So from this angle here, this is the opposite because it's facing the angle in question. This here, the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle. So from this here, because theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Theta is this angle here. Adjacent is 2 centimeters and hypotenuse is 4 centimeters. So now because theta equal to 2 over 4. 2 over 4 is 0 0.5. So because theta equal to 0 0.5. To find the exact value of theta, we'll find the cos inverse of 0 0.5. So theta equal to cos inverse of 0 0.5 now. Cos inverse of 0 0.5 press your calculator is 60 degree. So theta equal to 60 degree. We found the size of this here to be 60 degree. So since this is 60 degree, this here 90 degree and this 2x, to find the size of the other unknown angles, we need the value of x. So to find x, we can form an equation here that 60 plus 90 plus 2x equal to 180 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. 60 plus 90 is 150. So 150 degree plus 2x now equal to 180. If we subtract 150 degree from both sides, 2x equal to 180 degree minus 150 degree. 180 degree minus 150 degree is 30 degree, so 2x equal to 30 degree. From here, since 2x equal to 30 degree, we can substitute 30 degree directly here and also here. But to find this, we must find the exact value of x. So back here, to find x, we divide both sides by 2. So 2x over 2 equals 30 degree over 2. Here, 2 cancels 2, and here, 30 degree over 2 is 15 degree. Now, x equal to 15 degree. 
substituting x equal to 15 degree here kx will be equal to 3 times 15 degree which is 45 degree and if you look here since this is 30 degree and this is 60 degree this must be equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 60 degree because the sum of angles in the straight line is 180 degree 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 60 degree is 90 degree so that means this triangle BDE here is a right angle triangle and in a right angle triangle when finding its area any of the two sides that are perpendicular to each other can be the base or the height so that means this line BE here can be the base and if this is the base this must be the height because there are the two sides that are perpendicular to each other and we have this as 4 centimeters so that means the height is 4 centimeters but what is the base since triangle BD is a right angle triangle and we have the length of this side here as 4 centimeters if we have the size of any of these two angles here we can use the so tour to find the length of this side here but what are the size of the angles from this triangle here since this is 45 degree this here 90 degree and this 30 degree we can label this p and form an equation 45 plus 90 plus 30 plus p equal to 180 degree because the sum of angles in the triangle is equal to 180 degree 45 plus 90 degree plus 30 degree is 165 degree so 165 plus p equal to 180 degree subtracting 165 degree from both sides now p equal to 180 degree minus 165 which equals to 15 degree so that means this angle here is 15 degree so coming back to this triangle here to find this side here we can use a so tour so from this angle here this is the opposite because it's facing angle 15 degree and this here the adjacent so here tan theta equal to opposite of our adjacent theta is 15 degree opposite is line BE and adjacent is 4 so tan 15 degree equal to line BE over 4 making line BE the subject of the formula line BE equal to tan 15 degree times 4 tan 15 degree times 4 is 1.07 so line B equal to 1.07 centimeters. We will find the length of line B to be equal to 1.07 centimeters. Now recall we have line B as the base of triangle BDE. So that means the base is 1.07 centimeters. And here we have the height as 4 centimeters. So substituting it into this equation here, half base times height will be equal to 1 over 2 times 1.07 times 4. 1 over 2 times 1.07 times 4 is 2.14. So we'll find the area of triangle BDE to be equal to 2.14 centimeters squared.